everything is great. I'm gonna take a nap, and when I wake up, we're gonna be in Nagasaki, Japan. Made it. Whew. That was a long 48 hour nap. Nagasaki Airport is on its own little island. And now we have to take a hour long taxi ride to the city center where the hotel is. It flattens out. Crazy. If I haven't mentioned it yet, I love Japan. Mostly because everything is so damn efficient and everyone is so nice and clean and kind and courteous. The culture is just filled with honor and gift giving. It's really just a beautiful place. Not just the country, the islands, but also the people. I want to be everywhere all at once. I love Japan. Hello. How are you? Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. This is our driver. He's very nice. He's all dressed up. The car is extremely clean. Arigato. Since Japan is basically an archipelago, the countryside is full of hills. Freeways that go throughout the country basically filled with vast tunnel systems that go through the mountainous countryside. They do a really good job maintaining their roads and their tunnels, and they're all over the place because everything is super efficient. So of course, easiest way to get somewhere is a straight line to bore right through the mountain. I'm convinced that all car seats need doilies. Clean, white, frilly doilies. Frilly doilies. So our cab is a Toyota Comfort with a thank you with a 2JZ swapping inside. He was tearing it up. Damn Topher, you have to pick the nicest place. Again with the, uh, the frilly doilies. The accommodations are pretty good. This is most likely larger than uh, most of the apartments here. I'm gonna use this bed for masturbating and this bed for sleeping. No, this one for masturbating and this one for sleeping. I don't know. Maybe they'll just both be for masturbating. Either way, that is a fancy toilet. So this is what dreams are made of. Americans wish they were this cool. Kind of scared of it, but it's going to happen. I'm going to do it. I'm finally going to do it. I've always kind of been apprehensive about letting the water squirt up the, in that area. So uh, I, I'm gonna try it this time, I'm living dangerously. Welcome to the 42nd installment of what's in your hotel toiletry kit. Well, let's just see, we've got toothbrush for him, toothbrush for her, a comb for him, a comb for his pubes. We also have some body lotion, a razor for him, and a razor for his pubes. And then we have these drug bags. No, I'm kidding. I'm guessing they're shower caps. We've got Q-tips for him and for her, as well as a couple body sponges. How about that? That is a fancy toiletry kit. In America, you'd have to ask for all that shit. This elevator is very special because there's buttons on the left and buttons on the right and buttons on the side, and buttons on that side. 
Jeez. Big ears. I've literally been awake for over 48 hours due to some airport shenanigans. So we've checked into the hotel, just gonna have a little snack and then hit the hay for an adventurous day tomorrow. This is the reactionary video. All right, we're gonna go for it. I'm gonna push the button. First impressions, so far so good. As soon as you sit down, the seat is heated. It feels amazing. I finished my business, so now I'm gonna push the spray button. I'm gonna put my finger on the stop button just in case things get out of hand. There's also a water pressure button that you can choose how intense it is. There's also an oscillating button. I'm going for it. So far, nothing. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's actually, it's warm. It's pleasant. And it's got great aim. What happens if I push the oscillator? Oh, it's, it's got a pattern. That's too much, too much, too much. Oh, calm down, calm down. No oscillating. I'm gonna turn the water pressure up a little bit. Okay, that's enough. Whew. Ah, sheesh. I, okay, it's enjoyable. I mean, it's, it's working. I don't know if it's enjoyable, but it's... Oh. Okay, I think we're good. Well, the Japanese have it figured out, I'd say. That was, uh, I think it worked. I don't know if I still need paper. I, I'm gonna take a look, but I, that was not a negative experience. Everyone should try that. What makes Nagasaki special? The home of some of Japan's coolest vending machines. Everything from hot sake to panties, and you got it. No, I'm just kidding. The vending machines are actually all over Japan, but I'm just noticing them on every street corner. We are now in one of my favorite stores, which is called Tokyo Hands, and I haven't been in one since I was in Tokyo but it's basically a lifestyle and entertainment store and they pretty much have eight stories, eight floors of just everything you could possibly want, as you can see. I'm inclined to believe that any store that has a cat-specific stationary area must be a pretty cool store. I got some sushi magnets for friends. I got a couple cool cat stickers. I think you'll start to see a theme here. I got this cool little iPhone accessory that plugs into your lightning cable just because. And then I got some, some cat gifts for Omar. But you don't know what you're gonna get. Could be any one of these things. And then some more cat things, there's wings. You don't know what you're gonna get, but who knows? You got angel wings and you got bat wings. I'm hoping it's bat wings. And then I got for Brianna a cat hot mitt. And inside of this thing is a frisbee, they say. Here's my head for scale. Kind of like a Japanese form of gambling.
So pachinko is a, like a Japanese form of gambling. These are like slot machines and pachinko machines. And it's very popular and noisy and stimulating. Japanese kitty cat. Konnichiwa.